Hello. It is Wednesday night. Welcome to my kitchen. I am Laura. I am very thirsty. <laughs> I um, am still cooking. I'm cooking again tonight. So I had to go walk. I have until fr Friday or Saturday that I have to check in on this dog two times a day. So dinner is kind of crazy for the last two nights, especially because I have to get up, take a kid to school, come home, adjust naps, pick up the kid from school, and walk the dog two times during the day. And today we were supposed to have a WIC appointment, but little girl has the greenest, grossest boogies. She had a fever yesterday, and I had to reschedule that, but we've had appointments every day this week. So this is another night where I'm not doing it chop style, but it will be under $5. Um, my original thing is that I'm trying to stretch a $50, just under $50 every plate box for at least 10 dinners, which would make them $5 a meal with what we have in the box and what I have in my fridge that is either from WIC or the food pantry. Um, so tonight I'm going to be using a few items from the box, but I'm going to throw together a salad. That's not, that wasn't included. Um, there's cucumbers and carrots that were so when I say 50, I believe it was $47. So those three extra dollars could have been used to get a head of lettuce. Hold on, I gotta keep crying. To get a head of lettuce and you could use those carrots, you could use the bell pepper, you could do a salad. Um, I took 10 of the potatoes and I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. Josh started boiling them for me already. Again, one more second, I have to get my big kid over here. So he, I had it all cut and he just started it. It's just potatoes and some salt and we're going to make mashed potatoes. Um, the ground beef is only eight ounces. I'm going to use both of them for tonight and I am going to just make ground beef. I cut them up, put them in the oven so that they wouldn't get eaten. And I took two packs of the green beans mostly because they were getting a little funky looking. Hi. Hey, what do you want for dinner? Grilled cheese. Okay, Josh is in the backyard. You want to go help him? Okay. Um, the dogs are crying at the window, so they're out there investigating. So I'm just gonna cook these, and I was thinking of taking my mushroom powder and making like a mushroom kind of gravy sauce over the top of it for the mashed potatoes and the meat, and then like I said, a salad. And we have some bread in the fridge from the food pantry. It's just going to be one of those nights, quick and easy. Um, so yeah, let me move you and set up my pots. I don't want to put any oil in here because the ground beef is an 80-20, so it's gonna have more. And then I'm gonna wind up just soaking it up. So normally I would put the garlic and the onion in first, but I don't I don't wanna have to take fat out. So I'm just gonna throw that in. And once the fat starts coming off of it, then I'll throw those other things in. <laughs> Elsie wants to go outside too. Mm -hmm. Found a piece of meat there. Elsie would like to go outside too. So let me get her shoes on and then I'll be back. It's very cute because she started to say, she's starting to say her name. But she, like if she wants something, she'll say Elsie too. So she wanted to go out. It was adorable. Um, just breaking this up. Put some salt and pepper. Oh, oh. are you coming in? Oh, I'm gonna go up there. Mine was hungry. Huh? 
We're going to do it differently. What's wrong? Oh, wait, you got to feed them. Okay, go. So the kitten has had like massive tummy problems the last few days. And yesterday I put them raw just to see if it would help and no issues today. So we are going to switch him to raw because he, it's been bad. It's been really, really bad for his little tummy. But trying to keep him away from the bigger cat's food is like impossible. So we're trying to figure out how to do an all life stages type of a, a thing here. So I have to show her how we're gonna do food until we introduce full raw. They were very confused when she gave them dinner last night. Just splashing things everywhere. do is put some plastic wrap on this and kind of par cook it in my microwave. And they, the cats can just eat in here. Okay, I'm going to throw my stuff in for my potatoes. Yeah, but put Pam and Babe up somewhere. And not on the table, please. That's disgusting. So I'm gonna melt the butter. Bear put Pam. Bear put Pam. Bear put Pam. Pam. Sorry. Josh just saw a hawk too, so we had to bring in the little dogs. Crazy minute here. I'll do another two minutes. And then I think that I want to use the fat from here as my gravy. My gravy fat. Do. Sorry, I didn't have this thought until now. Because I'm just going to strain the fat like this. happened all at once. Okay. So I'm going to take that fat. Oh my gosh, now the baby's crying. He didn't know he was feeding the cats up here, so he opened the door and all the dogs ran in and it was chaos. Go. Go to your house. Go to your house. Uh, that's probably like two tablespoons, I would think. You can always add more. Let's turn that down. We didn't even know we had hawks here. Some of this mushroom powder. Yeah. 
Here's my milk. She has an old smoker's, old smoker's meal. I've got myself a new whisk because my other one, the coating was coming off and I didn't want it to scratch my pants. Looks like we are going to need a little bit more flour. I'm going to add my potatoes in. Those aren't full tablespoons. I'm just trying to get it to the consistency. potatoes sorry because I really do like to have the skin because it um, ha that's where all the nutrition is I didn't realize how dire the you can't even see what the heck I'm doing sorry you got moved Okay, so here's my home canned beef broth. That I'm spilling completely everywhere. Did she take Mima's down to her? Um, I don't know. I thought she carried her up. Oh, did she bring her back up? Um, she wants a grilled cheese for dinner. So, also, my oldest one is very picky. And I accommodate her pickiness because to me, Josh, both Josh and I, it was my sister and then his parents had people who said you eat what's on your plate even if you say you don't like it. And that led to a lot of food that I wouldn't even try because I was forced to try stuff I knew I didn't like. Um, and yeah, he just said he thinks that part of his stomach issues where he had to finish what was on his plate no matter what it was and he couldn't leave the table until he was done. Mine wasn't that bad. I didn't have to finish. But, um, and again, it was only with my sister. Um, so there were times he would fall asleep at the table. We both decided, well, he came in to an eight-year-old, but especially with the girls, he liked how I was doing it, that I'm not going to force... Well, actually, she wasn't that picky until the last couple years. Even when he came in, it was the start 
his the list that he made yeah. for her has gone from like a hundred items to like four. Four. He made it when we were dating. <laughs> um, but it used to be so. You're not in there. You're like me. That was the list it of food she be. Used to be, be so uh -huh. vari such a variety. And now, not even half that. Um, so we decided when she started getting pickier that we were not going to force her to eat something she didn't like and to have an eating experience like we did. We want dinner to be happy because that is the one time during the day we are all together, focused on each other. There's no phones. And we want it to be about family time. So if that means that I have to make a grilled cheese and I'm hopefully... I'm hoping that this will pass one day. And she's been trying stuff again. And it's weird because she eats some of the crazy, she'll eat like octopus. She'll eat like all these crazy foods. But you try to get her to freaking have a cooked carrot. And it's like, it's like if someone told me to eat octopus, I'd be like, heck no, I'm not eating that. So, now I'm just gonna flavor everything. I was going to try to stick my finger in there. That looks like a good consistency, I think. I'm going to throw the beef back in. And it has garlic and onion. That's it. I've never made anything like this. Well, I've made like green beans and um, ground beef over potatoes, but not with the sauce. Throw those in. I gotta get a proper spoon. We're kind of just doing poor man type dinners, is what I think of when I think of just stuff like this. It's just easy, quick, comforting. Actually, I think I do want to thin that out a little. Okay, there's not really flavoring in that. Besides a little bit of salt, and it needs more. In my potatoes, this is just ranch seasoning powder. Put some of that. And then... I'm going to put some thyme. And some sage. Some garlic. This kind of reminds me of like what you would have in a school lunch. <laughs> the way it looks. But that's fine. It doesn't have to be like Amber said in her last video. It doesn't have to be beautiful. We're just trying to feed the people. And in a normal mashed potato, my mashed potatoes are not skinny. I do not have a skinny version for mashed potatoes. But I'm going to leave like, usually I put sour cream. and Actually, I think I might put a little bit of, no, I'm not. I'm not. I just want like a, a potato. I need salt. The potatoes are good. That looks like a lot because it fell on the spoon. I promise you it's not. Look. Okay. I think we're going to put some more time. It 
It like needs something. Basil? Um, there's a basket with a little bit of laundry in it, like clothes, and then the rest of it's up here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is a splash of Worcestershire sauce, or like that, because it needs something, it needs some like bitter to it. I think I was debating between lemon and that. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to make a salad. Turn all the things down. This one doesn't look as bad as the one last night. For some of these bigger pieces, I'm gonna cut the, what is it, the rib, the, oops, I totally threw that one on the table, or on the counter. I don't mind them, but on those outer bigger ones, I don't love them. I'm not ripping them up for any other reason than I don't feel like cutting them. Just giving everything a stir. I'm just being, being lazy. And I'm just gonna do all of it because last night I didn't finish dinner. And then I got back up around 10 and I finished it and I had more salad. And today I've had a taco and a couple bites of soup while I was feeding the girls lunch. Mostly because it was dripping on me. Okay. This is from the box. One cucumber. I got these when I went to Smith's. They were a dollar eighty. I got them with Mo Wick monies. Sorry, my puff is crying because she wants to come in and try and find the cat food that's left over. I'm gonna half these. Oh, that one's a little soft. That one's left. Okay, I'm gonna get two more things. I'm warning you, it is not the most appetizing looking thing. But I think it tastes pretty decent. It's just kind of that gray look from the gravy, you know. But that's mine with my big old salad. For the baby, I just threw some of the shredded carrots on top of hers. And then she has some strawberries cut over there. But just to give her some extra, that's Josh's, that's Elsie's, and then the other one has a grilled cheese.
But that's dinner. See you next time, best friends.